I, I, I started uh, acting when I was a, a young kid. I started off with um, commercials and a lot of extraing. Um, I really loved being on set. Uh, so that was when I was six. And from there I did a, a number of commercials with um, some really good directors. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to do some, some great stage stage work. I, uh, originally Tom, Tom Wu on Neighbours was meant to be Singaporean. Uh, and then we get under set and, and, and Toadfish is like, why does he have to be Singaporean? And I'm like, yeah, why does he have to be Singaporean? And Toadfish is like, why can't we just make him American? And I'm like, yeah, why can't we just make him American? Why couldn't he be Australian? Yeah. Because he's meant, he's meant to be a backpacker and we're already in Australia. Oh, oh okay. Yes. But it's in his, oh, his neighbors was Neighbours is, a, Australia. is Australian. There's an Australian cereal. Could he yeah. have been backpacking across the desert of Australia? He, he could have, but it wouldn't have had the same backpacking <laughs> feel. <laughs> I, it's an amazing universe. When I watched it when I was 12 or 13, because I thought, well, what are all these young kids running around doing? You know, why are they into this? So I thought I should watch an episode, and I thought it was madness. Like, I just thought it was anarchic and just crazy. And yet you went on to be one anyway. Well, I never, it's like... As an actor, though. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I'm so glad I did. It was really one of the, the greatest experiences I've ever had um, in terms of enjoying a job, enjoying the people that I was working with and, and the uniqueness of the show. Um, it's a really great privilege. I mean, it's an incredible universe that you kind of get in, introduced to, which I would have had no idea about. Um, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, f from an from an acting perspective, it's it's uh, a little bit tough at times because I mean, it's technically a magnificent show, and I learnt a lot in it technically. But I think they expect you as an actor to just look after yourself a lot, which is which is fine, which is great. Um, but I, I, the sort of work that I like to do, I, I like very much to. Um, be challenged in terms of where can we take this and, and, and the Power Rangers is, is, is shot like most television is shot to a schedule um, so it's pretty much a matter of just getting the, the schedule shot each day and, and I, I find that a tough way to work I, I, I love the, the you know the, the indulgence that you get with theatre where you get to really work on, on stuff and, 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 and take it to its, to its highest point I, I think and, and um, occasionally you get that with film as well and occasionally with television. I, I think it's happening more and more. I think you're seeing really high quality television being made particularly here in the United States which is um, really exciting, really, really good stuff. No, Knowing was filmed in, in Melbourne, that's right, yeah. Um, and I think it was uh, Nicholas Cage had been to Melbourne before with, with Ghost Rider um, and uh, uh, from what I hear is quite fond of the city and um, uh, it was a really good experience. Uh, uh, it was the first time I'd done something that large scale, it was a huge scale, Alex, Alex Preuss directed a really magnificent director, great vision, an Aussie guy, um, uh, and it was, I mean, we did a, a four minute scene which, which took two days to shoot, I mean, extraordinary, you yeah. know, in a classroom, it was not like it was a complex, technically a complex, a complex scene, but, but the, the Americans just give it so much uh, in terms of making sure that I any opportunity that is there they can capitalise, and I, it's just it's amazing, it's so good. Um, in the end, my stuff, uh, my, the, the four, I was one of four students in a classroom. The, the scene was about establishing Nicolas Cage's or his character's um, um, rapport with these students, you know, and, and in the end, all my stuff gets, gets cut out. So I'm just an extra in it at the end, but my name is quite high in the credits for some reason still. Uh, they, they, I think that, that was their little token. You came in, you did your work. You they felt bad for me. I'm sorry. We put you on the, on the cutting room floor, but uh, we'll give you a decent credit still. Now, Bed of Roses, that series, because that's relatively... That's right. Bit of Roses is, is an Australian series for the ABC. Who I've worked with um, a number of times, and uh, I really love the ABC. They have a great charter. They're funded. Uh, well, actually, their funding has, has been cut a lot over over the years, but still largely supported by the Australian government. And, and it means that they're not quite as slave to commercial interests as as all the all the other channels. Um, they have a charter which is about um, making sure that they show diversity on, on Australian television and um, um, you know stories get told on that channel on that network which would not be shown anywhere else.